and I truly want the Lord to speak on the day. The passage has been read, which was found in Matthew 22, verses 35 through 40. And I will attempt to title this mes message, The Price Tag of Love price tag of love. Today is Valentine's Day, February 14th, a time where the world quote unquote celebrates love. It's said that it's going to be an estimate of $27 billion spent on gifts and cards and candy for individuals who are expressing love to someone else. Expressing love to individuals that it that it may be at this time next year that that person may not even be in your life. Yeah, I know you love him so much and you love her so much and you know, as soon as that card and candy is is given, that person could say something that makes you mad, get on your last nerves, and you out. This is a time that we're talking about love throughout the year. February 14th, we're talking about love, and, and then we talk about love for family, and, and love even for our church family, and we got this new expression that everybody wants to just really hang on their hats on to right now, and that's self Love. We need to love ourselves. I ain't saying anything wrong with that. But that's a big one right now. Self-love. But what I want to focus in on today, concentrate on today, have a laser focus on today, is asking us all the question, including myself, what about our love for God. God is so good to us that he just didn't tell us that we should love him, but he shows us how to love him. We don't have to guess how to love God. We don't have to assume and, and, and wonder how to love God. He just asked us to simply love him. So we need to seek God's face. I'm going to get back to it, but it's so amazing to me that this religious leader was face to face with the answer. We need to seek God's face and then realize that once we do that, everything else falls into alignment. I wonder what our lives would look like if we can truly turn our lives over to God and we loved him with all of our hearts. I wonder what our lives would look like if we made Christ the priority in our lives. I can honestly say, I can honestly say, I've been preaching the word for a while and saved for a while, but I can honestly say there has never been in my, a time in my life that I have loved God the way that he ought to be loved. Hey, I know I'm by myself. I've never worshipped him the way that he needed to be worshipped. I never praised him the way that he needed to be praised. And sometimes we want to, I ain't got nothing bad to say about these things, but we want more books to study and we want more revivals to go to and we want more of this look I got a, enough information already I don't need no more but what I need to do is put my life in a line with God what I need to do is love him with every fiber of my being don't you understand that change won't happen in your life until you do that Woo! Jesus help your son it's amazing to me. It, we bend over backwards to make physical relationships work. Man, we jump through hoops 
to make physical relationships work. And many of them at times are unhealthy situations. They're toxic situations, but we jump through hoops. So I wonder, have we ever went through such lengths concerning our relationship with God? Are we pursuing God like that relationship, pursuing him like that career, pursuing him like that dream? Top performance athletes and Olympians, they start off very young, pursuing that dream, pursuing that goal, pursuing the prize. From a young age, and the Olympics might not, may be 20, 30 years away, at a young age, they training. At a young age, they're sacrificing. At a young age, they're denying themselves. At a young age, they're, 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 they're not eating this and they're not eating that. At a young age, they're sold out for the prize and the goal because they love that. It's a passion. It's something that they desire that's deep into their hearts. But how many of us pursue God like that? Because we... We have people in the place of where God should be, and we have dreams and, and things in the place where God should be, and we're trying to figure out why isn't my life working out the way that it should? Jeremiah 23 and 19 says that you will seek me and find me when you search for me with all of your heart.